Hello and welcome to this Innova Systems snippet video with me Adam Rose. In this video we're going to have a look at how you can create flanges for sheet metal parts within SolidWorks. I've got a simple base flange already created in this design and I'm going to add some edge flanges and mitre flanges to that. From my sheet metal toolbar the first thing I'm going to do is to insert an edge flange. We select the feature and in the top box we need to select the edges that we want this to be inserted onto. I'm going to select these two edges along the top and you'll see as soon as I click it gives me a preview of how large I want the thing to be. So I can select a number of edges in this box and that creates multiple items within the same feature. There's lots of options within here to be able to define the radius and the amount of gap we've got between the flanges. The angle allows us to vary whether it's coming out horizontally or not. We also have settings for the flange length which allow us to define to a bit more precision exactly how large this thing is. Within this settings box down here we can also adjust where the measurement is taken from. You'll see the item adjusting in size as we switch between these three properties. The flange position, if I bring myself around and have a look at the design, is associated with the bend and how that is positioned relative to the model that already exists. So as we switch between these flange position settings, you can see the position of that bend adjusting in height. I'm going to have my material outside the design. One of the great things about an edge flange is that we can go in and we can actually edit the flange profile and you see when I click on the edges they highlight in the graphics area. If I click the edit flange profile button it takes me into a sketch. I'll just move this box out of the way and I'll bring myself normal to that sketch. Currently we've got horizontal and vertical relationships holding this thing in place but if I was to delete one of these I can adjust the position and the size of this flange in order to get something a bit more bespoke. So we can put in then some dimensions to actually control the size of this flange. click the back button it goes back into the feature and if we click finish it exits the feature and goes back into the normal SOLIDWORKS modeling. So there you can see the two flanges that I've inserted. I'll remove this feature because I'm now going to insert a different type of flange. On the sheet metal toolbar you'll see we've also got a mitre flange that we can insert. To insert a mitre flange I'll select the feature and the easiest way to insert it is to select one of the edges that already exists in the design. When we select that edge, it puts us into a sketch normal to the end. And you see if I bring myself round the position that we will be creating the sketch in. We can draw out some simple lines in this sketch to position the flange. We don't have to worry about putting in the radiuses on these edges. OK, we'll put in some dimensions to define the size a bit more accurately. Having drawn that out, and I'll exit the sketch, and you'll see the flange will be created. And again, we've got similar settings to what we had before associated with the, the flange profile and the radius. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to create edge flanges and mitre flanges within SOLIDWORKS. Thanks very much for watching. 